Hi there, I'm Matt Chandler from BlackBerry's Corporate Communications team. I'm coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada at the 2022 edition of the Consumer Electronics Show. We know it's a bit of a different year this year and a lot of you couldn't make it, so hopefully this is the next best thing and you can feel like you're here. This year we're showcasing BlackBerry QNX technologies and a couple of demos that really help to bring BlackBerry Ivy to life, one of which you can see on this Jaguar iPace right here. Make sure to follow us on all the social channels over the coming days so you can see what we're up to in the booth. Let me introduce you to Matthias Eriksson, president of BlackBerry's IoT business unit. Matthias, welcome. Thanks, Matt. Uh, there is obviously a lot going on at CES 2022. Um, our tagline for this event is foundational software for the intelligent edge. And you can actually see it on, on the wall here behind us. And let me say a few words about that before I get into the exhibits themselves. Simplistically, we believe in a world where there is an increasing amount of edge devices being deployed. Uh, in addition to that, each of these devices are becoming more intelligent. And almost by definition, as they become more intelligent, they become software defined. If you believe in that, you have to invest in a foundational software stack for the intelligent edge. And that is precisely what we have been doing for the last several years. That is what we're doing today. And that is what we're doing for the next several years to come. Here at CS 2022, we are picking a few select examples of roadmap progress that we've had over the last 12 months, and we are showcasing that in demos. Uh, for example, we are showcasing Ivy here. Uh, you might remember Ivy was the joint uh, venture we announced with AWS last year. And I'm very happy to say over the next 12 months here, we have progressed a very aggressive roadmap uh, together with AWS. And we actually have live uh, jointly integrated code running here on uh, automotive grade hardware, in this particular case the NXP uh, IMX8. It is also sitting on top of a Linux sta a stack to prove the point that uh, this is an OS agnostic solution. Uh, and for this particular use case that we're showcasing, uh, we have also integrated several of our ecosystem partners. So we have Car IQ for vehicle identity and, and payments. We have Electra for their AI-based battery managed solution. We have here for location data, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that would be one example of uh, what we have in the exhibits. Uh, another example would be our Jarvis solution. Uh, we launched a rapidly progressing uh, product in the second half of last year called Jarvis. It is our software composition analysis tool that really allows anyone building an intelligent edge device to create a comprehensive software bill of material uh, and analyze that, uh, that uh, software stack without having access to source code, just using binaries, uh, and thus secure the software supply chain. Very important for, for, for many of our customers and partners and tremendous traction over the last six months with, with that solution. There are a couple of other things we're showcasing, but. Uh, another important point for us here at, uh, at CS2022 is obviously to reconnect with customers and partners, uh, talk to them about the next three to five years and what they're doing and how we can help them uh, uh, in their software roadmaps. Um, at the end of the day, uh, we are investing very heavily in the key components for this stack. Uh, we're investing in performance, in safety and security and, and reliability, and, and ultimately we want to help our customers and partners uh, drive time to market down, uh, decrease cost, and, and obviously secure uh, the uh, IoT edge. Thanks so much for that overview, Matthias. I look forward to doing a bit of a deeper dive into each one of those demos that you just described. But first, before we do that, let's find out a little bit more about what BlackBerry QNX has been up to these past 12 months and learn more about some of the progress that they've made. I'm here with Mike Hamster, Director of Automotive Sales for BlackBerry QNX. He's going to tell us a little bit more about what the company's been up to these past 12 months. Mike? Absolutely. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. So from a, an investment perspective, we've invested significantly into the QNX uh, foundational software. So part of that investment has resulted in uh, new products on our roadmap, focusing on our core tenants of safety, security, performance, and reliability. So from a hypervisor virtualization perspective, we have received great traction. As you can see here, we have many automotive OEM programs. Uh, we have some in production, production programs, as well as many more in development. From a professional services capabilities, we're very pleased to announce that we have increased our capabilities 
and our capacity. The capacity increase is up to 30%. So this will allow us to focus on our customers, help them bring their QNX based platforms to market uh, and meet their start of production timing. That's great, Mike, and thanks so much for sharing an update on the progress that the company's made over the past 12 months. Now let's get into the demos. We're here with Jeff Davis, Senior Director for BlackBerry Ivy, who's going to tell us a little bit more about this Jaguar I-Pace and the technologies that are in it. Jeff? Hey, Matt. How's it going? Um, so, as you know, uh, our, our theme for CES this year was the foundation for the intelligent edge. So what we wanted people to be able to do was not just come here and be able to talk to people about the, about the details and, and, and talk about the technology. We wanted people to actually see how that technology would work. And to do that, we used the Jaguar I-Pace and allowing people to use an augmented reality program and look at the iPace and see where QNX is currently working in there and then see how our latest product, the IV, could actually work on a common architecture system. So as they use the augmented reality device, they then can, they can scroll through, learn about IV, and actually see how data is moving through the car in real time. Then they can take a deeper dive on, the, on a particular IV use case with our, uh, with our demo, it's Rune Shown. That sounds great, thanks Jeff. Let's go take a look. I'm here with Tarun Shom, Product Management Director for the BlackBerry Ivy Business Unit, and he's going to be showing us a little bit more about this demo we see right here. Thanks, Matt. So we've got BlackBerry Ivy here running on automotive-grade hardware. Now, as Mateus spoke about earlier, BlackBerry Ivy has been co-developed with AWS. But what we're also showing in this particular demo is we're showing how we can integrate partners to build synthetic sensors on BlackBerry Ivy. So what Ivy does is it takes vehicle signals and it abstracts those vehicle signals and then allows them to be used to generate insights that can then be provided to applications on or off the vehicle. And what we've actually got here is we've got a cluster that's running on QNX and then here we have an infotainment system that's running on Android in a QNX hypervisor. And then we have Ivy and Ivy is actually running and taking data that we've already gathered from a trip to the beach from Italy to Nice. Oh, it's actually Ranzi in Italy. And all of that data, we've got battery management data that's then being fed up to a synthetic sensor that's been developed by our partners, <coughs> Electra, Electra Vehicles, and that allows us to show a very accurate battery state of charge and also to be able to show the range of the vehicle. And that range can change depending on who the driver is and what that driver profile is. So if they have a heavy right foot, for example, then that range will be shortened. And we actually have a machine learning model running an occupancy identity synthetic sensor. And that has a forward-facing camera, and we're actually running that here with video that we captured. And what it then does is it shows the different driver and the occupants of the vehicle and shows how we can then adjust that range and how electric vehicle synthetic <coughs> sensor can show a really accurate range for that driver. What we're also showing in this demo is with our partner Car IQ they're able to constantly authenticate the vehicle using sensor data that's coming up through Ivy. And they have a synthetic sensor that does that and allows the vehicle then to be used to make payments such as tolls or parking charges uh, and so on. And what all of this shows is how we can develop that ecosystem where you have partners who are riding synthetic sensors that can be reused over and over again for different applications. And that really is very, very powerful when you're trying to build out applications and use cases on your vehicles in terms of scalability and the cost of development. That's great, Trun. Thanks so much. It really helps uh, bring BlackBerry Ivy to life. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. We've obviously got a lot going on this year at CES. It's a different type of show. It's a different type of year. And for anyone who wants to see the full demo videos, we have those available, so make sure to reach out to your BlackBerry IoT representative. Thanks very much.